everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth. Welcome back to Breakout. Cow yeah, buddy, I bet you didn't expect that. If you're watching this in real time, you're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's only supposed to be three of these videos a week. We're getting a fourth? Hey, you might get a fifth too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm having a little bit of fun with this today. Let's move some of this stuff over here. The crushed, that's what we want right here and start making this stuff. So I started to work on making um, some of this pure Certus quartz to do some upgrading. Mm, pardon me, 64K storage, what it looks like we might need to do. So to do that, we're gonna need three of these 16s. We need a calculation processor for that. So that's one. One 16 is one of these. So that's three of each. Okay, so we're up to four. We have a 4K, but we need to make two more, which means we need two more of these. So in total, we're going to need six calculation processors, and each calculation processor gets a pure Certus Quartz crystal. Now, some of you also might have been losing your ever-loving mind, and I do apologize for that, like I do, because of this. We've got these crystals growing. Oh, it's like a little red dot there now. You notice that? That's something new. But guess what I got in my inventory all this time? Crystal Growth Accelerator. <laughs> Now, I place this thing down, and it says the device is offline. So I don't know if that means it needs power or not. When I right-click on it, it gives me no interface of any kind to mess with. But look, if we grab these out of the water, how many episodes we've been going now, and they're still there doing that? Yeah, I'm starting to wonder about that stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is, because we've got this little uh, device over here going, this guy right here, phytogenic insulator. I'm just going to run these things through here. Save myself the headache. Will you, even though it's at 13%, I bet it still goes through. But but all of those pieces, you know, it's a lot of work to do. And then I got to thinking about it. We noticed we were going to get ourselves some storage cells right here. So with these, at least, wait, that's an M, that's a storage cell. And I'm trying to make a storage component. Well, there goes that plan. <laughs> I wish I had a window so I could see the plan go right out the window. Maybe at the end of this series, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. So while all that stuff's converting in the background, let's go ahead and work on some of this other stuff that we've got to do. We'll swap you out so we can get that all going in the background as well. Would be nice if, I don't know if I need charged or not. I can't remember. Well, let's go ahead and move on. So we've got this uh, right here with the ultimate control. Sweet and condensed. Somebody had said, I think it was Meadow Pema, had said that this and this together was going to be what was going to help us leave. So, but this is what we're wanting to work on right now is get all of this storage stuff going, which people have told me to do. So what I did is I went through and I got one, two, three, four, five, all five of these items bookmarked up here so that we can start looking at them and see if we can build them. So an ME controller is going to be sky stone block. Now that looks different from the other blocks I've seen. That comes from St Sky Stone Small Brick. Sky Stone. We'll cook it. That'll be so much easier because this is going to be like, look, you're like up converting and it goes in a circular logic. Redstone Furnace or an alloy smelter. They all output one. Um, all right. So one, two, three, four. Oh, and there's four pieces of fuel in there, so we'll let that run. So while that's going, we're going to need an engineering processor. Do we have one of those? Engineering processor. Oh, and we might have the crystals we need as well. Pure Fluix crystals. I bet I only made one, didn't I? Yep. So I'm going to need one. That'll give me two. That'll be one. Okay, and then a piece of sand, right? Yep. I need to remember, aim for the propeller. 
That's what I got to remember. So let's run that through, and that's going to give us the dust. The dust will give us the seeds. And then from there, we need, um, what is it, three pieces of glowstone. Okay, that's almost done. Now, I wonder, can I put... Oh, that will stack. Awesome. So as soon as that's done uh, doing its thing, we'll be able to go ahead and put that in there. So water, water, everywhere, but not a drop to drink. And that's at 6,000. So we can put three more buckets worth of water in there. One, two, three. And I think what I figured out is the water transferring through here and all of it. Oh, I've actually used enough water that we've actually emptied that out. Can you believe that? And then while we're here, so diorite in there, and then we'll move the crushed diorite over to here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that out of there, and we'll get those starting to grow, and that will help us start making the uh, the rest of the crystals that we need for that. So we'll go ahead and take this guy. So you, you, and then we should have that. Okay, so those are going to let us make the ME controller. So the ME glass cable fluix. Emmy glass cable and a water bucket will do fluix. One. Or this will do four. Wait. Glass cable. That kind of looks like that's going to be circular as well. Maybe that's washing the color off? I think that's what that's telling me. So quartz fiber is what we need. So six pieces of glass and three ground up. Those are pure. We need to make sure to not use those. Knowing my luck, that's exactly what I would end up doing. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and start cooking some glass. I wonder. Oh, look. I remembered. I did it right. Simple sterling, simple, simple powered furnace, alloy smelter. Can we make glass? That just took three. <gasps> Nice. That is so much quicker. And then these three. Run those through. Where'd it go? Six pieces of glass. Awesome. And crafting bench. Okay, so that will let us make this first quartz fibers. And then we need two fluix crystals or pure. Now, it takes so much work to make pure. I'm just going to use regular flux crystals. So where do we put those? Here we go. One, two. We'll do that. Awesome. That gave us four and we got two left. So just in case. Oh, and I got something. Fluix energy connection. Cool. So we'll put that there. Let's start this right here. This is going to be for all the ME stuff that we're, we're doing. So we'll get that off the bookmark. An ME drive. It's going to need two of these, two engineering processors, and four iron ingots. What did it take to make these? It was redstone, so two silicon and two diamonds we're going to need. So one, two silicon. Two, well, we need 18 of these. I hope we have enough. Let's check. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good on the diamonds for a while. Oh, I'm going to have one left over. It's all right. Well... We'll put it back. Put it back, Piggy. Oh, wait. We got three left over? Somebody did their numbers wrong. You get back in there. So we got two diamonds. I've got an engineering processor that I think I'm going to have to use elsewhere. What we got going here? Oh, you're taking your sweet time. Okay. So we need two of those. So we need one more. Let's go ahead and make one more for now. A printed circuit. I'll just grab all four of these. I can't remember which is which. And this is where that satchel would really start to come in handy. Uh, the inscriber. Logic. Calculation. Silicon. That's the first one we need. So we'll take that. And then from there, what was the diamond one? Engineering circuit. Logic. Calculation. Engineering. Now, if I was playing this in like a regular mod pack, I think I'd have an inscriber for each 
<laughs> so I didn't have to keep trying to remember what it was. So we've got that and that. We need, what, a redstone dust. He's starting to remember. Uh, that. Okay, so that. Where's the silicon one? Up here. And that. So that should give us the two engineering processors. Awesome. I think we got everything else. So this might actually be the first ME component we're going to make. Um, so that there. Maybe we've got... What are we missing? Two of those little conduit things. And we used a mouse wheel like a champ. So click that. Click you. ME drive. Nice. Uh, put that right there. So we can go ahead and remove the ME drive. Um, wait a minute. You know what I just thought of? We need to make sure that these are registering. So ME drive and the glass cable did register. Okay, good enough. The crafting terminal is going to need a calculation processor, an ME terminal, and a crafting table. We just made a crafting table in the last episode. This will need an... Wait, so an interface here. Oh, and a terminal there. And a piston and a sticky piston. Where did I see all those pistons at? No. So we might have to craft a regular piston. I can't remember if we've got a regular piston lying around or not. I know I've seen these uh, these little sticky piston stinkers. Okay, so there's that. There we go. There's one of those. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um... Let's do that. Well, we need redstone and iron for a regular piston. I think it's still the uh, the vanilla recipe. There we go. That and that. And then what was that other, this little thing, the ME interface. Wait, that goes to that? But how do we make that? Let's go back. Oh, it can be either item. Okay, so let's click. Let's back up. Can we click on the, the plate instead? That's from that. Okay, so no matter what, we've got to make that. So we need four pieces of iron, two pieces of glass, and then this other weird-looking object. So let's, say, let's go and get some glass cooking. Um, what, did, what did it need for iron? Four pieces of iron. And we got one extra ingot. You know, it's a baker's dozen. <laughs> that goes there. Come on, glass. You got this. Just one more. Uh, boop. Nice. Okay, that, that, that from the top and bottom. And then what was this little propeller weird looking thing? What is that? Annihilation core. It needs... Okay, nether quartz... Two logic, uh, a logic processor and fluix dust. Did we have some fluix dust here? No, but we have a, we have a fluix crystal. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, it's the weirdest thing. Like sometimes your brain will wire itself a certain way and then no matter how much you fight with it, it refuses to readjust. Okay, I can't remember why we had those three grow in there now, but we'll get back to that. So... That, that, that. Let's A for bookmark that. Now we don't have to keep searching for it. Okay, so we've got Fluix Dust. Um, the Nether Quartz. That's used. Oh my gosh, we're using up all of our... Okay, let's... I know one of these recipes is going to want a crafting table. So there, we're just going to go ahead <laughs> and start another crafting table. Okay, so... Dust, nether quartz, and one of these gold processors. It does do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and press a silicon, another silicon. That'll make that. It's weird. It's like, in a way, I kind of like having to build like processors and stuff. It's kind of cool, actually. This needs an inscriber logic there we go and then we're going to need redstone dust right i still love that animation that is so cool so that that and that will give us 
the is it logic yeah logic processor and then this should give us these two annihilation cores and then is it that and that uh-oh what did we do wrong me storage bus you does it have to be stained glass wait oh my gosh there's two different things there So, Assertus Quartz, Fluix, Dust, and... Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's crazy. I could swear that those both of those things looked the same, didn't they? All right. So, let's get another piece of silicon. Um, that... Let's see if we can remember this time. That'll be the, uh, the true test. I know I need that. I know I need that. It was logic, he seemed to say. <laughs> And then from there, we do those three. Yes, I think I got that right. So we take that. I need to grind up another one of those. And I will need a regular Certus Quartz, which I have right there. Brain is still not wiring itself properly. Maybe one of these logic processors can help us out. Just, I, I want to double check. I know these crystals are taking so much work. Like I said, we don't want to disappoint Napoleon Dynamite. Um, so that... This is what we want to build. Awesome! And then from there, that should give us that interface, which will give us that interface, which... Well, there we go. <laughs> Talk about convoluted uh, uh, crafting. So that can go there. Where did the other one go? Here it is. We'll put that right there. Pigglesworth and made limit, limitless potential. Craft a storage bus. Okay. Storage bus. Get it? <laughs> so we made the storage bus and the formation core. Those two can go. So the crafting terminal needs a calculation processor. Pure Certus Quartz. Let's go ahead and do that. I know that I was going to need that for something else, but we can always make some more. Printed calculation circuit. Calculation press. Calculation press. And that. And from there, that printed circuit. Silicon and redstone dust. Well, there's a lot of stuff that needs silicon, doesn't it? Logic press. Silicon. Oh, wait a minute. It's all over here. I'm like, where in the world is all the rest of the silicon at? <laughs> Earlier, I'd had so much in my inventory. I was just getting used to it. Okay, so from there, we're going to need a little more. Boy, we're going to go through a bunch of redstone, aren't we? Good thing we've been uh, running this machine in the background to get all that stuff made. So that, that, and that should give us the calculation chip, processor, crafting table. Oh, this is going to use the other two we just made. Oh, an illumination panel. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, so let's let's do this. Let's start with you. You come with us. So from here, these two things are here. So let's put that there. And, and, and you go there, whether you like it or not. Go over there. Okay, so from there we need to, let's bookmark this, the terminal. So I know if we've got these two things. And that's empty. So I guess it's good that we had doubles off of that, right? So formation core goes in the upper left hand. And an annihilation core goes in the, let's just make sure. Okay, that's correct. A logic processor. Okay. He's starting to remember. It's going to get scary here in a minute because I'll just... No more commentary. We'll just go through this whole thing without speaking because I remember so much. Said no pig ever. <laughs> so was it logic for gold or calculation? Let's try logic. <gasps> did, I, did I remember? Oh my gosh. 
that and that that will give us that chip and then this little purple screen thing is the other one we got to make so let's see here that nope that okay so what was it the terminal oh no my kitty's kind of coughing in the background i don't know if y'all can hear that or not it's having a little bit of a rough time this illuminated panel oh that's really not that difficult to make oh my poor kitty it's summertime. I think they're dealing with um, like hairballs and stuff. I'll check him out here in just a second. Two glowstone, one redstone, and it looks like a iron ingot. I th oh, I grabbed the wrong stuff. It's okay. It's okay. We can make this work. We thought we could make this work. <laughs> that, that, that. Oh, that'll. Why do we need three of those? Okay, if you say so. And then there, that. Awesome. So those two have been crafted. That's what I needed that stuff for. We might actually get through all of these in this episode. That would be amazing. So that. A much bigger table. Oh no, I haven't been checking my quests. I hope it's been registering them. Okay, they all registered. Just the ME controller is all we need. Four Fluix crystals. I think I just used up the diamond thing I needed it to, didn't I? One, two. Oh, it needs more water. Stinkerish. It's been sitting here the whole time. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that's going to get us... Four crystals. And where did I put it? Oh, here's the... Okay, here's the skystone block. So let's start constructing this. So we'll put those in the corners. You okay, Kenny? Starting to get a little concerned about him. Engineering processor. Oh, we got one more diamond. Okay, awesome. So let's get ourselves some silicon for that. And we have one more piece of redstone. See how that worked out? It's okay. No reason to stress. Oh, wait, wrong thing. <laughs> I'm like, why is it not doing anything? What is the deal? So this is going to be the engineering press. Oh, and now the other kitties on the outside of the door crying to be let in the room. <laughs> Okay, so that, that, and that will give us that. And I think all we need left is just that one more crystal. That would be awesome. So this goes here. How are you doing with the crystals? Oh, you're going to take a moment, aren't you? And did I pick up the others out of the, the water already? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm kind of distracted from my cat a little bit. Just really concerned about him. Okay, so that's 50% that we're halfway there as always. That's the way that works. We'll back up. Sweet and condensed. We've done that. Kind of curious what this is going to be. Emmy crafting. I wonder if that's going to let us store a bunch of stuff and be able to just simply craft without taking things out of the storage grid like, we'll be able to just craft straight from storage. That would be really cool. That would be cool. This stinking satchel. Wet work. Aqueous accumulator. An alternative to melting down leaves is now available. It's slow on its own, but becomes faster if you place a water source block on either side to aid its work. What? Well, melting down leaves gives us water, so it's telling me if I put water on both sides, it'll... Okay. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. 
tell you what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to do that at the last second. I'll go ahead and say my spiel and burn up a little bit of time doing that. Yeah. If you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. Somewhere down there, sound down below, the little thumbs up button if you click that. That really helps with engagement. Um, YouTube sees that as you enjoyed the show, you liked it, you want to see more stuff just like it. it really it, it's a free way for you to help support the channel and help YouTube know that what I'm doing is good and that more people should be seeing it. And if you're not already subscribed, would you consider subscribing? It's up to you. It's totally up to you. But it would be fun if you did because then if you click the notification bell and you're subscribed, YouTube will let you know when more videos like this come out from my channel and you can watch those as well. I keep seeing a little red. Oh, I can see through the fluid. I never noticed that. That is cool. Are you... You, I did my spiel. You should be done by now. <laughs> there we go. So let's go and craft this. Do, do, do. Can remove that. Networking switchboard. Let's go and get our... No, not detect and submit that. Back up. Oh, can we get to it before it registers? Is it crossroads? It's right there. And claim. Nice. Awesome, and that worked out perfectly. Let's go ahead and dump that in there. We got these. Oh, nice. We got a bunch of those engineering processors. That is cool. So we might actually be able to get figure out what this storage stuff does next episode and get that going and hook it up to this stuff. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy. We're starting to finally get somewhere with this whole setup, aren't we? But thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to get myself ready for next episode, and that's when I hope to see you is in the next episode.